Hi there, welcome to today's video. It's Valentine's Day, which means only one thing. I'm gonna be making my interpretation of Candyman. It just seemed like an appropriate make for me. Um, everybody likes a bit of candy at Valentine's, don't they? So uh, yeah, let me go and show you how I make him. So for this model, I'm gonna start off with Candyman's head. And I usually start off with the head actually. I like to try and get a sense of the projects that I'm working on um, from the offing really. So it's always helpful to start with the face just to get a feeling of the projects. I've wanted to make Candyman for a while now and it just seems kind of appropriate for this week for, for humorous reasons really. But um, I made a bust of uh, Candyman uh, quite a few years ago now for one of my polymer posters or my fan arts posters and I was never really that happy with it really because it was at a time where I wasn't really that bothered about a likeness or getting a sense of uh, the person that I was working on so it's a very sort of generic make really and I just covered his face with bees <laughs> really to get a sense of uh, Candyman so it's nice to return to the projects um, just so I can devote a little more time to trying to get a likeness really of uh, Tony Toz or of Candyman and I'll move on to the base now and uh, just make a fairly basic pair of shoes for him really I was asked um, about what kind of wire that I use but it's just a thick craft wire basically so just something that's kind of fairly solid and is uh, difficult to bend basically is, is good enough for me. So I'm just making his trousers now and his character actually has quite a nice gingham check on his trousers but you know with polymer clay that's really difficult to replicate certainly colours polymer clay anyway, so I'm just going to go for um, a straight grey on his trousers. I think his coat's going to make the sort of showpiece of the outfit anyway, so I don't think it matters too much. and I'll just move on to his uh, his old hook here and I'm using a little bit of glittery clay in here in silver but it's uh, it's always really dry I think it's funny female effects they can be quite variable in their quality of polymer clays so I've just mixed it with some white oh incidentally I forgot to mention that I've now baked Candyman's head his face and his hook So I'm just moving on to his body now and that can attach to his uh, trousers. So I'm going to give you a few facts about Tony Todd who of course plays Candyman. And if you've not seen the film, it's uh, a film that was uh, made in 92 I believe. I'm just going to check that. And I'm back. Yes, it was 92 and it will make you very reluctant to say the word Candyman five times in the mirror. That's all I'll have to say about the film because I don't really like giving any spoilers or um, plot summaries about films. Because I personally quite like watching films with as little background to them as possible really. It's why Netflix is a bit of a nightmare now because the trailers just will show you the whole plot <laughs> of a film or a series, it's really quite weird. I don't know why they do that because it um, seems a bit pointless to watch half the stuff on there because you <laughs> you're able to pick up the whole plot through the trailers. It's, uh, it seems a bit crazy to me, but you know, each to their own. So 
So of course Tony Todd plays Candyman and he's incredible at this role I have to say. It's uh, be really difficult to imagine anybody else playing the role but interestingly I found out that Eddie Murphy was uh, considered for the role which would be just really strange because Eddie Murphy is just so funny it'd be really weird to try and see him um, conjure up a sense of dread really in Candyman. I think they went ahead with the right decision with Tony Todd who's uh, really quite formidable as uh, as the character and there were a lot of bees on set because uh, bees play a very big part of this uh, of this film I was fascinated to find out that Tony Todd was stung 23 times well so I believe actually it's reported as a different number in different articles but I think 23 is the most reliable but he was offered a bonus of a thousand dollars each time he got stung so uh, that will no doubt kind of sweeten the pain really i don't know that i've been stung by a bee i don't think i have actually but i have been stung by a wasp and that was really painful so <laughs> i don't know that i fancy that 23 times over but you know a grander pop you never know So Tony Todd is really active on Instagram and he's certainly worth a follow, I'd say. He um, tends to post most of his life actually. He's very much into visual documentation, I'd say. So um, there's a few dinners shots <laughs> on there, but you know, there's all sorts of stuff on there. So he's a very interesting chap. And I believe he's also a blues musician. So he's a man of many talents. So go and check that out and I'll leave a link to his Insta down below. I was really interested to find out that there's a new Candyman movie being made and I had no idea about that until I started researching for this uh, video. So that was sort of interesting. It's called Candyman 2020, or that's its working title anyway and it's been described as a spiritual sequel to Candyman so I assume they're just using license of, uh, of the name really and maybe some bits and bobs about the original film but uh, it sounds like it's uh, a bit of a departure maybe from the original and it seems that Tony Todd's going to be in it too although I don't believe as Candyman he's been uh, marked on IMDB as playing a character called Styx so I don't know anything about that. There's very little information about the film actually. So uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that, I guess, as to what's gonna happen with it and what kind of role Tony Todd will be playing in it really. Um, I'm assuming it's gonna be a cameo, but you know, let's hope it's a bigger part for him. So I've got some nice textured polymer clay here just to attach to his coats and hopefully it will bake well. If you've not watched uh, my previous videos, I've got a broken finger at the moment, so that explains the splints on my finger here, so uh, hopefully that can come off for the next video. We'll see how it goes. So I'll just place his enormous collar on his coat here, but it really gives the overall impression that I'm after. And just some finishing details here. And as I want the stomach detail to be a lot darker, I'm just adding in some uh, acrylic paint here and then rubbing off with a wet wipe. And now I need to bake Candyman so that I can move on to his hair. If you're new to my channel, my name's Lizzie and I'm a polymer clay artist and illustrator. And I make weekly videos about my polymer clay sculptures and other bits and bobs about polymer clay too. 
Um, there's a few reviews on my channel, a few tutorials as well. So if you like what you see, by all means, go and hit that subscribe button. And just create some texture there with a the tool. And yeah, pretty happy with that. His likeness isn't 100% there, but you can definitely tell it's Candyman, which is good enough for me. Um, so yeah, really happy with this model and particularly the coat actually. I was really happy with how that turned out. And true to form, here's my polymer poster or my fan arts poster for Candyman as well. Hope you enjoyed that and if you have any suggestions for who you'd like to see given the clay disarray treatments at some point in the future, uh, by all means leave those down below. I'd genuinely be really keen to, to hear who you'd like to see me make, so uh, yeah, leave those below and enjoy Valentine's if that's your thing and I'll see you next week. Bye bye!